Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn directory structure of React Native Expo Go and React Native CLI. Both directory structure we will understand and then we will start to create first application programming in next video. So here I am trying to create a new project on React Expo. So we say npx, we say create Expo app and we give the name to this app YouTube Expo and I press enter. So by this command I will create a project of React Expo. So downloading the file which is required and creating a React Expo application. Then we will understand the directory structure of it. So now you see we have created this project. Now I create a React Native project also. So I say npx React Native in it and I give the project name YouTube Native. So meanwhile this project is also created. We understand the directory structure of Expo. So this is the YouTube Expo. So we understand the directory structure of this project. And meanwhile, it will create the native project also. Then we will understand the native also. So you see that first of all, we have a assets folder. In this folder, we have the resources like images or some other resources. If I required in my project, then I can take these resources here. Like we required some video file, some animation or some JPG or some other file which is required in my Android application or my mobile application for resource purpose and I may also have some website data also like CSS or some other also here in the assets folder. Now we have a node module. This node module have all the dependencies that is required to create a React Native Expo application that all the applications or the packages also mentioned in this file. So we have a dependency you see these dependency we have and other dependencies also required because these libraries also depend on other dependencies or other packages. So these also available in this node.module. Now we have a git ignore. So this file is also responsible if you want to upload this project on git. So there are certain directory and some we can say files. So those are ignored by the github because they are just you can say duplicate files that does not require. So all these file is ignore or you can ignore other file also those you will mention here all directory and the files will be ignored during the upload time of github. Then we have a babel.config file if you want to use babel configuration and there are some rules because you know that babel we use to convert the old javascript format into new javascript format. So that is required and babel is also the core of react library. So we can configure the information of Babel here in this file. And this uh, this package.log.json is also attached with this package.json file is required by the React. Now we have app.json file. So this, this also having information about the project which we are creating and the information what this particular your uh, application is required like we have application name also, slag name, version also orientation whatever you want portrait or landscape and some icon you can change your icon also of your app here some other information that is required like background color or some other information is also available here so you can change this information if you required and you see that on android which is the icon which you want to use so all other type of information that we can say that like a manifesto file in android we have that's file we have here and uh, we also have app.js this app.js is the main file that is required here and this file is responsible to create your component and use your component here so this is the directory structure of this uh, expo library and meanwhile is native is also creating when i will start this project so this project will also create some directory that is called expo you see in this project i have a expo directory so this directory is also create whenever i will execute this because i created it first time so whenever i will execute this project it will create this 
expo directory also that is available in here and this expo directory is useful for uh, uh, running this application this program because if I am using uh, the expo go library to run this application then I can open my Android application or my mobile application in web also in iOS also in Android also but with the help of this expo live application that is installed in your uh, mobile phone so we will see this in the later video also but in this file in this video I am just just giving an overview of the directory structure of uh, react native expo go for creating or for learning this the thing special is here just like uh, the code directory of react you can say it's just the react if you have the you can say knowledge of react then the same directory which we use in react we have this but in uh, in react native uh, cli we have uh, the some special directory structure and that is uh, as per the requirement of the your android or ios application and that is native to the development of the mobile application so it is still downloading and installing the this package so when this package will install then we will understand the directory structure of react native application also you see that meanwhile this react native application is creating and is installing dependencies we can understand these directory structure also you see that we have a test so that test this file is useful when we want to create a test case on my application if i want to use this unit testing i want to apply so i can use this folder and this file also and this we have the bundle in which we have a configuration file that is required internally by this react application then we have a directory structure of android if you run this application on android or you create your application build your application on android so this is the android structure of react in which we have the different different resources and you see that we have this debug main file everything we have as per the requirement of the android application we have manifesto file we have resources java because these are uh, these uh, these uh, your directory structure is required by the android AP apk file or android application so when you will complete your react native coding and you will build your uh, apk for android so then it will convert this according to this directory structure if you have a uh, mac uh, laptop or mac machine and you are using xcode and you want to convert your coding into I ios phone and then this directory structure is required so it will take the files from here to convert your source code into I apple phone then we then this is a node module similar to uh, the X, expo uh, in which we have uh, all dependencies those are available in package.json this package log.json is also attached with package.json this uh, uh, all these uh, dot file which is uh, bug config ESLint RC then follow config git ignore I have explained that the directory structure uh, or the file information of directory and file which you want to ignore you don't want to upload on github the node version then we have all these uh, ruby version or watchman configuration so these all are the plugins which is required if you will use those plugin or those library in your application then you have to configure some property here so these file is required so if we will reuse this library in future then we will see how you can use this and otherwise you see that we have a same uh, app.js file app.json file for information of your application only we have name and display name here then we have a babel configuration file for uh, your configuring babel plugin then jam file here we have a different file as compared to uh, expo that is index.js this is the main file in which we are using app.js file and this metro.config file and metro is a server of uh, react native that responsible to run the, your react app application for testing purpose so if you want to make the configuration of this that is also available here so you see that both having a different directory structure if you see that this is these these uh, folders are different android and ios folders and these dot files are different 
and otherwise uh, if you see the index file is also not available in expo and if you see that once again the expo folder so this have a small directory structure only assets folder we have that is different from this otherwise these are main files and we do not have here index file right now and you see that we have this file here only so directory structure of react native cli and uh, react native uh, expo go is different because both platform is different but output is the same we want to make a android application or we want to make uh, we want to make mobile application development by using uh, react native cli or react native expo go so both both directory structure i have explained you here and nothing is uh, you can say complicated here when you we will start coding in all one by one in next video we will understand the use of all these the native also and expo also in next video we will uh, i will explain you that how you can create a one uh, first application hello world kind of application in react expo and then we will understand in react native in both one by one we will create these application so in this video we understand the directory structure of react expo and react native that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video